In this video on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, I'm going to teach you how to breed Pokemon using Ditto, how to hatch eggs, everything you need to know and where to find this stuff. And let's get right into it. So breeding is very different in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. It's it's much different from what you're used to if you've played any of the previous Pokemon games. Most of your breeding is going to be done during a picnic. The picnic option right over here, <laughs> it's basically done through the picnic. All your Pokemon breed through the picnic. So if you have a male and a female of the same kind in a picnic, they will breed and leave an egg in a basket during the picnic. You might be asking, but there are six Pokemon in your party. What happens? Well, technically, if you have a Ditto inside of the party over here, like a Ditto with all of these other five Pokemon over here, Ditto is going to breed with each one individually. So basically, they're all going to get an option to breed with each other. And Ditto is going to make an egg for Scyther, Armor Rouge, which is going to be Charcadet, uh, Tinkatink, uh, the, I forget what the starter one is for this, and then Sneasel for the Weavile. So with the Ditto in our party over here, we are going to go ahead and we're going to make a picnic. All right, cool. So the picnic is set. Theoretically, it is already ready to go. They are already making eggs. And this happens over time. And over time, these eggs will be placed inside this little basket over here. You'll see if I peek inside the basket, doesn't look like there's anything in the basket so far, which means there is no eggs yet. Now you can make special sandwiches to increase the chances of egg breeding or increase the timer because you basically AFK. Like I can sit here for two hours and come back and there'll be eggs inside that basket, but you can speed up the process by making sandwiches. So let's go ahead and, and make a specific sandwich. Now, in a sense, what you're looking for is the meal power called egg power. You can see here, this meal, this jam sandwich has egg power level one. We can't make it, unfortunately. Let's see if there's one that we can make. The desert sandwich, you can make one, right? So we're just going to make the desert, the dessert sandwich, sorry, is what I meant to say. And we're going to go ahead and make this here. You can also use creative mode to make special recipes for, you know, very high egg powers. Right now, I'm just introducing you to the basics of how breeding works. I'm not creating end game Pokemon just yet with the most amazing stuff. And that was a three star dessert sandwich. We get a level one to egg power. Now it is high. You can go up to a level three with the right ingredients for making the perfect recipe. But like I said, we'll look into that in the future. Cool, so now breeding is in effect and we basically have to just wait until egg spawn. So I'm gonna go AFK for a bit and then we'll check back in the basket in a while. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes, I think, maybe more. I don't know, actually, I, to be honest, I wasn't looking at the timer. I just I just took a little break, and now I'm back. And now we're going to look in the basket and see if there's anything you picked inside. There's a Pokemon egg inside it. Do you want it? Yes. You took the egg. Oh, there's something else. And obviously, this is... there. I, I really wish there was a button to just take everything out of the, the basket at once, because what if this was, like, 2,000 eggs? Like, what do you do? Like, do you, you obviously can't just pick them all up. You just pack up and go, and... And leave. Oh my word, this is a lot of eggs. It's a lot of A spamming right here. Okay, cool. So that was everything. Not a ton of eggs, but it was, it was an okay amount for a level 1 boost. The sandwich boost also only lasts for 30 minutes, so don't expect to AFK for longer than 30 minutes, uh, because once you have that level 3 boost, you really want to, you know, do it in intervals of, of 30 minutes. Okay, so before we put the eggs into the current party, you do need a flame body ability Pokemon or one that has the magma armor. So flame body or magma armor, you can do it without, but I recommend having this, you know, Pokemon with this ability because it makes the eggs hatch faster. So we're going to go ahead and put eggs on here. We're going to replace the ditto with a flame body Pokemon over here. And you can find those around the world. I'll show you some locations toward the end of the video. Also a location and a video guide on where to get ditto. Cool, we got the five eggs there. Now we are ready to basically just run. And you can do this in Coridon and just 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 run. When when the Pokemon eggs are, are ready, depending on the, the Pokemon that's hatching, the different eggs have different cycles, I believe. So you're just gonna have to run until they hatch. And now we're gonna do that. And there we go. Looks like the first egg just dropped out there. And oh, it's gonna hatch. What are we gonna get? Remember, we had Ditto with five other Pokemon in my party. So this could be any one of those five. And it is a Tinkatink. There you go. We, we bred a Tinkatink. It's going to obviously be level one. The next egg is going to be, let's see. This egg hatched into a Sneasel. So there you go. We had a Tinkatink, a Sneasel. Now remember, the order that I put them in on is not the same order that they were placed into the basket. So that's why we got two Tinkatinks in a row. 
But if I go ahead and I go get one final one, you should see it will be a different Pokemon as well, I presume. And there we go, we have a Scyther. A Scyther has just been born from the egg. And that is pretty much how you're gonna breed through the game. Remember, you can do it with a Ditto, with any gender, male or female of any Pokemon. Well, not any Pokemon, some of them have to be in later evolutions. But you're also able to have a male and a female of the same type of Pokemon, the same species, and they should be able to lay eggs in the picnics as well. Now, if you're looking for a ditto, there are dittos around two areas of the game. So if we look from the crater, we're going to go up into the left over here and you'll see here West Province area two, right by this kind of green area here. So along this green area, ditto will be here. It will be impersonating another Pokemon. So be on the lookouts for it. There is a little cheap tactic that you do is when you get near a Pokemon and you hold down the left trigger, it should show the name of the Pokemon and it sometimes says it as ditto. So you can see like this thing, it w if this was a ditto, it would say ditto above its head, even though it doesn't look like a ditto. And you just interact with it to go tame it. Now, if you're looking for a flame body Pokemon, one that's gonna help you hatch your eggs, starting from the crater, I recommend going to this area here, to the up and the right, the East Province, area three. You can find a lot of those Carcoal, like those like, you know, fire rock Pokemon, the one that I had in my party. And you just gotta make sure it has the ability called flame body or a Pokemon that is that has the ability Magma Armor. And those two abilities will help you hatch your eggs for your Pokemon in the game. Otherwise, I hope you guys found this guide helpful for breeding. We will go into more details on how to make competitive worthy Pokemon with the best IVs once I reach late game. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy breeding for filling out your Pokedex at this point of the game. And thank you so much for watching.